Hey guys, what's up? It's Noah here with the CP Gamers, and I'm bringing you the seventh update, I think it is, for the building crate and building the ATM6 Walker in UCS scale. Uh, as you can see, I worked on the terrain last week, and sorry I missed last weekend posting. Uh, I was just pretty busy. But anyway, I'm going to get back to regular uploading schedule, but I think I'm going to be avoiding showing you guys too much more of the UCS ATM6 because I want there to be a sufficient amount of new stuff for the final video. Um, I was even pretty hesitant to show you guys the landscaping, but I, I think I should explain it a little bit. Also, I, I think it's really cool, so I wanted to go over it. But uh, yeah, because in some of my past series, I felt like I got all the way up to the end, and then by the end of the building series, you basically knew exactly what was coming for the final episode, so there wasn't really any incentive to click on it and you know watch that one, which is obviously the best one there is. So um, I'm going to try and avoid that, and then... So for this one, I'm going to leave you guys with just this, and then in a month or so, when I'm finished with it, uh, I will post a bunch of videos on that. So that will be, that will be pretty interesting. And so starting with the terrain, uh, you can see up here in the front we have it mostly started, and it's actually pretty much done except for the gaps which need to be filled in with smaller pieces that I have uh, somewhere in here. And by the way, this is where I got most of my parts, so... Still have some left, there's not really an issue there. I have everything I need except for a large amount of uh, the inverted bricks like this. So I'm going to have to get creative because I don't really want to order too many more bricks just for that little section in the back there. So hopefully I can find just enough to finish up here and then uh, this is going to look really cool. As you guys can see, the border is really cool. I was originally going to make it gray but I think black looks a little better. Um, I wish I could tile this over, but I don't really think it's worth it. Um, especially when the whole terrain is snot, you know, it doesn't really look so bad, this having a few studs. But um, I really like how it came out, actually. Um, this project is really coming along pretty well, and if you guys saw the new Star Wars trailer, the ATM-6 looked awesome, so I definitely made the right choice building this mock. Wasn't too sure about it at first, because, you know, I didn't know what the scene was going to be like but I can tell that it's going to be an amazing, amazing scene. And if you guys haven't seen that Star Wars trailer, you definitely got to go check it out. I think it was much better than the first one, and it actually got me really excited for uh, the new movie, which I was a little bit skeptical because the last one was just all right, in my opinion. It wasn't amazing, but this one hopefully is really, really good. Uh, anyway, guys, that is mostly it, unfortunately. I know this wasn't a very exciting episode, but... Um, it's been really busy in my life recently, so that's why I haven't got too much done. But like I said, the next time you guys see this, it will likely be either complete or mostly complete, so it'll be awesome. Uh, in the meantime, I am going to be posting new videos. I have plenty of things to show you guys, LEGO related and Star Wars related, so don't worry about that. Um, so definitely stay tuned and subscribe, because we have a lot coming up in the future. And I will see you guys soon with another video.